In this video, we are going to do an example of using Green's theorem to compute a circulation integral for a vector field. Let's consider the region R, which is enclosed between the circle of radius 1 and the circle of radius 2 in the xy plane. The interior circle of radius 1 has been parametrized in the clockwise direction, so that's its sense of orientation, and then the outer circle is going counterclockwise. What we have been asked to do is compute the circulation of this vector field around the boundary of R, which is the union of these two closed curves. We're going to use Green's theorem ultimately to compute this, which is going to be a lot easier than doing the circulation integral. But before we do that, let me just analyze this expression a little bit more. So what we have here is an expression dx. We want to think of that expression that I've just underlined as the first component of our vector field, which I'll name in a minute, f. So this is something that we often call capital P. And in this particular case, we're looking at e to the x squared plus 5y. And then the second component for our vector field is found here. I'll name this capital Q, and this is 2x plus sine of y. So this vector circulation integral or vector line integral around some closed curves could be rewritten as the vector field P comma Q dot dx dy. That's one way to rewrite this expression. Or if you prefer, you might see this written as f, vector field f, dot dr, where dr is this expression dx dy. What I often see is that students don't realize what it means to use Green's theorem in this context. We've been asked to do a circulation integral and to recognize that Green's theorem applies. What that means is that we want to take this circulation integral and say that because of Green's theorem, we know it's equal to a double integral, which I'll write down in a minute. To use Green's theorem means to switch from this integral to what it's equal to. So that's the action of using Green's theorem. It's the switching. So what we'll say is that the circulation integral, which I definitely do not want to compute, is equal to, because of Green's theorem, the double integral over the enclosed region R. So it's the region being enclosed by the curve or curves defining your circulation integral. So it's a double integral over that region of uh, dq dx. So let me write q sub x minus dp dy. And then this is just a plain old double integral. So where I write dA here, it might be dx dy or dy dx, depending on how we would want to evaluate this. Uh, let me go ahead and pause here to give you a chance to do this integrand expression yourself. So take a moment to compute dq dx and dp dy. All right, ddx of 2x plus sine y is 2. And then d dy of e to the x squared plus 5y is 5. So that overall, we're looking at 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. So we are going to double integrate negative 3 over this region enclosed between these concentric circles. Let me, in the interest of space, go ahead and factor that negative 3 in front because it's just a constant. So we have negative 3 times the double integral over the region R, 1 dA. 1 dA is really just saying, what's the area of R? So in a minute, I will finish this computation just by using geometry. But let me just mention that if your integrand was not a constant, if we had maybe x's and y's left here, probably the approach you would want to take at this point is to switch into polar coordinates. So any x expressions you would replace with r cosine theta, y expressions with r sine theta, pick up an integrating factor of r, and then the bounds on r from 1 to 2, and the bounds on theta would be from 0 to 2 pi. So that's just if you had something a little bit more active than just this constant that we were left with. But in this particular case, it's, it's very nice. We are really looking for negative 3 times the area of r. The area between concentric circles, we can compute by doing the larger area and then taking away from that the smaller area. So this is like negative 3 times pi times 2 squared. That's the entire disk of radius 2 minus pi times 1 squared. So larger circle, take away the interior circle. Overall, that's going to be 4 pi minus pi is 3 pi times negative 3 is negative 9 pi.
Look how much better that was than trying to do the circulation integral by literally computing the vector line integral as it's written. So that would have been like really, really tedious, maybe even impossible. Um, so that's what it means to use Green's theorem. And that's what I want you to really take away from this example is that to use Green's theorem means to switch. In this case, it was switching from the circulation integral to a double integral. Less often, you could go the other direction. So maybe you started with an integral of this form and realized it was better to do the circulation integral. That happens a little less frequently than what we're looking at here. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you for your attention.